what's going on guys so in this video i want to give my personal opinions on wolfenstein youngblood this is the video type or series if you will that i plan on making at the end of every single uh let's play series in this case obviously wolfenstein youngblood and yes you did hear that right the end of a series which means i'm no longer going to be playing wolfenstein youngblood here on the channel however i think i might play it off the channel just so i can beat it and get it over with this game did have a lot of negatives that i just really couldn't shake off and for that reason i will not be playing wolfenstein youngblood here on the channel anymore however if you're a wolfenstein fan don't fret or anything i do plan on uh, i still plan on playing all the rest of the wolfenstein games and if that's something you guys want to see definitely leave that in the comment section down below because it's a series that i do want to play and of course according to all the things i've heard this game is like the odd child in the series uh that pretty much a lot of the fan base doesn't like regardless so i gave it an open mind and unfortunately it let me down but with that being said, if you want to see some of the Let's Plays of the other Wolfenstein games, I will be doing them uh, most likely here on the channel. But again, if that's something you guys want to see, definitely leave it down in the comments section down below so that I can get into them if that's something that you guys want to see. Eventually, I'm going uh, uh, to end up playing them anyway, so there's that. But like I said, this game had some you know, good qualities to it, but it had a lot more negatives. And because of that reason, I'm no longer going to be playing those games. And I will be getting to some of the positives and some of the negatives here on this video. So if that's something you guys want to see, definitely, uh, you know, stick around and I'll talk about it all. But before we get into all of that, definitely go ahead and drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Because I do plan on making a lot of Let's Play videos on a various amount of games. So with that being said, let's get into it. So first things first with some of the positives. This game had fantastic gunplay. I know some people are like iffy, like some people liked it, some people didn't care too much for it. Personally speaking, I loved it. You know, I thought it was great gunplay. I'm not the greatest first person shooter, but I do enjoy those games quite a lot actually. Uh, but the gunplay was fantastic. It was smooth, it was buttery. Personally, I didn't experience any bugs or anything like that with the gunplay itself. And because of that, it always felt fantastic for me how you can vault around things, uh, how climb on top of buildings or trucks or anything like that, or how you can just peek around corners and just kind of, you know, shoot at them. Or even if you wanted to take the stealth approach, some of the stealthy stuff felt pretty amazing as well. So when it comes to the gunplay, there is no complaints from me. I thought the, gu the gunplay was fantastic. Uh, and frankly speaking, there was very little to nothing wrong with the gunplay itself and that might be a saving grace to some people unfortunately it wasn't strong enough for me and i'll get it i'll get into it when uh, i get into the negatives but with that being said let's go into another one of the positives which i personally think was some of the characters not all of them but some of the characters were fantastic um personally i really liked abby even though her uh animations were kind of weird and a little stiff like at times her character was itself pretty decent i liked her even though she was kind of one-dimensional uh with that being said uh i know this what i'm about to say is kind of not like very favorable and i actually liked the main characters which was uh, uh jess and soph i thought they were great characters uh for the little bit of time that i spent with them in the video game i thought they were great i really enjoyed playing with them and everything and uh, I thought they were actually one of the strengths, believe it or not, in the game itself. But that, unfortunately, is all of the positives that I personally can think of. Because there was a lot of negatives that really, you know, frankly speaking, just completely outweighed the positives in this game. And I'll get into it right now. So the first negative was the enemy AI. The enemy AI was ridiculously bad. And there was times where... I would be playing the video game they would literally just stand there or i would flank them shoot a few and then none of them even though there was like five to ten people like in a row hearing me shoot from the flank none of them turned around turned around and shot me they were all focused at jess and stuff now maybe they have like an aggro system okay who doesn't do a very well job at explaining if that's the situation but even then i think i would have aggroed some enemies if i was gonna take them you know with a flank so the AI was terrible. As a matter of fact, on my very first 
Wolfenstein Youngblood, I opened it up with the bad AI because it was so apparent to me. Um, there was a, a situation where I was downed, I turned around, and Jess was down because uh, I was playing with Soph. And, well, well she, she wasn't downed yet, but she was standing there just shooting one of the enemies, and neither one of them were moving. They were just shooting back and forth. And that was literally the very, like, the first minute, the first, like, few seconds of my very first Wolfenstein Youngblood, which you guys will be able to see. If you guys it's, you guys are welcome to see it here on the channel. All you got to do is look it up. I might just throw it up here anyways. But, but yeah, the enemy AI was absolutely atrocious. I couldn't stand it. It was terrible. It, it, it hurt. It, it was that bad. And I just, ugh, as far as immersion goes, that took me out of the game completely. But it wasn't necessarily... Uh, 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 it didn't kill the game for me. It was just bad, but whatever. I was going to overlook it, you know? Until I started to see some of the other negatives, which here goes another right now. The enemies in any given location respond ridiculously fast. So fast, as a matter of fact, there was a situation where I just cleared an, uh, an enemy area in Little Berlin, went around the corner, climbed up on top of the roof, and looked over a balcony down in the same area. This literally took like 30 seconds. And while I was looking down there, there was already like 10 enemies down there that had already respawned. That was incredibly frustrating. That was so apparent of how fast they respond that I eventually just ended up running past them and didn't even feel like fighting. And that says a lot because the gunplay was fantastic. But even then, it just... It wasn't strong enough. Like the gunplay was, although fantastic, it, wa it didn't. The, it was so much fighting because the enemies respond so much that it just kind of got to the point where I just kind of wanted to hear some of the story, you know. Another situation when it comes to that was I was fighting, and uh, like in one of the enemy areas, right where you like pretty much go in Little Berlin, there's like this area where you fight. Well, while I was fighting. The enemies kept on respawning while I was there fighting the original enemies that were there. And they just kept respawning. And it felt like the fight was never going to end. And that got old really fast. And so fast that even the amazing gunplay got shadowed by the amount of times that the enemies kept on respawning. Unfortunately, it killed the gunplay for me. It was that bad. And unfortunately, that's not even all the negatives. So yeah, we got the AI and the enemies respond too quickly. Along with the enemies was the fact that they were so tanky. So much so that they were very much so a bullet sponge by the very definition of the word or the term. It's even, even if you use the right kind of ammunition to the type of enemy that was required, even at that point they were still so bullet spongy that it got frustrating to the point where I just didn't really want to fight them anymore. Eventually, I just kind of stood there and just shot them, and they killed me, and I didn't really care. And then I just lost immersion, and I just didn't feel like playing the game at all. And that's the truth. Um, on top of that, when it comes to the story, there is no real guiding factors. They're just kind of like, they just kind of throw in a bunch of busy work, which, by the way, is very repetitive to the point where sometimes you'll have a quest come up that you had already done, that Abby comes over, you know, and she tells you like hey by the way they're having a meeting here go bug this place like, okay cool so you go do it and then like 15 20 minutes later she'll go over the radio right when you pass by the area again hey by the way there's an area they're having a meeting near where you're at go ahead and go do it again and it just got that that in itself got re very repetitive and i got very annoyed at the fact that i had to keep doing these missions over and over and over until i eventually got to the the first brother gate and every single enemy there was literally one-shotting me and this is re recording that i got on my last video and i just deleted the video i just didn't want to do it this is when i got frustrated and i just didn't want to play the game no more uh you know there's a good type of grind and then there's a bad type of grind and this one was very much a bad grind uh the little brothers were so tanky or not the little brothers, but the, 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 the gate where you go into to the brothers or whatever was so tanky, so bad, and they were so ridiculously strong that they just one-shot you every single time that I just kind of stopped the game and decided to end the series right then and there. And that was the extent of 
that. So that's pretty much my negatives with the game. There is some things that I don't really have too much of, you know, to, to speak of. And a part of that is the story. I can't really say too much about the story itself because, frankly speaking, I don't think personally I played long enough of the story to get a good grasp of what the story was. The story in itself was, eh, as far as I got. And that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Another thing was BJ Blazkowicz himself. I never found him. I don't know where he was, what his purpose was, or anything like that. Mainly because, again, I didn't get far enough into the story, and I didn't care to. Because the story was, again, eh. And another thing was the main antagonist, since while, while we're on the topic in characters. And the main antagonist, I don't even know really, really who it is. I have a decent idea, but realistically, it might not even be that person. Uh, it's just a guess that I had uh, and frankly speaking it's just I don't know anything about the main antagonist and again because I didn't get far enough into the story but because of that um, those are some of the things U ultimately I didn't play the game long enough to get a good grasp of the story uh, that I can't really speak enough of it to really understand what was going on in the story but with that being said that pretty much concludes my thoughts on uh, Wolfenstein Youngblood. This, again, by no means is a review of the game. This is just my personal thoughts and opinions of the game itself that I just played. And again, this is a, a, a series that I'm starting, at the uh, that I'm going to be making a video on every single video game that I complete on the channel. But if this is something you guys like, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and I'll definitely be making more Let's Play videos, so definitely stick around for that. But with that being said, catch you guys on the next video. Deuces.